the downhill derby season one race number six so let's get this race started and round number one we're gonna have Kyle Bush William Byron Maddie D and Ryan Bowling so let's get going and oh Kyle Bush looked about looked like he was about to advance but Byron came and stole that advancing spot from him and that Benedetto and William Byron will be eliminated. I mean, Vance. Kyle Bush and Ryan Blaney will advance. Next round, we're going to have Christopher Bale, Brad Keselowski, a previous race winner, Eric Jones, and the only non cup series guy again, Austin Hill. And that very fast. That didn't make it past the first round. Unfortunately. And again, he's not going to advance. And it's going to be the 2 and the 20 car advancing. I think Austin Hill's running out of steam as well as those Xfinity cars, which are probably no longer going to appear because they were not that good on downhill derbies. But for this next round, we're going to have Kevin Harvick, Alex Bowen, Daniel Suarez, and Joey Logano. I don't believe Daniel Suarez has advanced either, so we'll have to see if he will advance today. Yes, he will advance, as well as Kevin Harvick. So, yes, Alex Bowman and Joey Logano, who did a flip just right over there, around the same area Kevin Harvick did in one of the first races, right over here, he's upside down, no one cares, this guy, but yes, congratulations to Dan Suarez, who I don't believe has advanced before. So now, on to the next round, where we have Austin Dillon, Eric Amarola, Martin Truex Jr., and Danny Hamlin. Amarola looking to advance again, this is his second race in the downhill derbies. And let's go green. And he will advance. He's actually going to get first place. And Martin Truex Jr. is going to advance for the first time in the race. In the downhill derby races. And two more race winners have been eliminated. Wow. Only um one race winner is still standing, which is Brett Kozlowski. Oh, well, that hasn't gone up yet. Because in this next round, we have the, the first ever race winner, Kyle Larson, against his teammate, Trace Elliott. Bubba Wallace rocking that new 2311 ride. And as well as Kurt Bush and the number one gear wrench machine. And we are under. And oh, unfortunately, Bubba Wallace is still unable to advance. And Chase Elliott and Kurt Bush will advance. Now, Bubba Wallace and Kyle Larson have been eliminated. Unfortunately, Bubba Wallace cannot seem to find his way past round once. So, hopefully he will eventually. Next round, we have a bunch of twos. The two of Brad Kozlowski, the 20 of Christopher Bell, the 21 of Matthew Benedetto, and the 24 of William Byron. So, let's get these guys set up and ready. And we're... And oh, it's going to be William Byron and Brad Kizalowski advancing. Just after a well, usually it makes it up to that championship round. That car, 20 cars, very fast. So, so today he's not having the best day. I'm a roller now with Truex Jr., Daniel Suarez, and Kevin Harvick. Daniel Suarez is having a better day here today, hopefully. Well, maybe he will be able to advance yet again. And he will, as well as Kevin Harvick. Daniel Suarez having a pretty good day here. And Almarola and Martin Truex Jr. Will be, will be eliminated. Now for the two car race. Who will make it around? Of only five cars left, will it be Chase Elliott or Kurt Busch? We'll have to find out right here. Right now. And this might be a close one here. Oh god. Oh no. I hate when they're this close. How can you tell? Oh god. Um hmm. Yeah, that was Kurt Bush. That was a very close one, but that was definitely Kurt Bush. Alright. Now for a race of five parts, we're going to have Kurt Busch, Daniel Suarez, Kevin Harvick, Brad Keselowski, and William Byron. So let's get this race 
going in three cars. Three cars advancing. Daniel Suarez hoping to make it there. Oh, Byron's going to flip. As well as the one of Kurt Busch. It's going to be Brad Kiswowski and Kevin Harvick advancing. Kurt Busch is eliminated over here. But this is going to be close between the 99 and the 24. But if I can just get a nice little look at that. It looks like the 99 of Daniel Suarez is going to advance. Wow, he's having a crazy day. So now, who will go to a championship round? Will it be the two of Brad Kiselowski trying to win back-to-back -back races? Or Kevin Harvick? Or the 99 of Daniel Suarez having an amazing day? As well as Brad Kiselowski. And we're in the race. And Kevin Harvick is going to advance to the championship round. Oh, God, no, another close one. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to have to do a race off. I'm de I'm really going to have to do a race off between these two. So, race off. Who will advance to the championship round? The two of Brad Kiselowski trying to make back-to-back -back wins. History of downhill derby racing series. Or it will be the 99 of Daniel Forrest having a phenomenal day here today. And it's going to be Brad Kiselowski advancing to the championship round. What an upset for Daniel Suarez, but he is still happy that he managed to get to the final three. Now for the championship rounds. Who are you guys rooting for? Four of Kevin Harvick over two of Brad Kiselowski. Looking to go back-to-back -back wins in the downhill derby season one. And one of the And oh, Kevin Harvick is going to do it. He is going to give Brad Kiselowski a major upset here today. By stealing a back-to-back -back win for Brad Keselowski, that is not going to be, that is not making Brad Keselowski happy. He is upset on the radio. We'll get radio eventually, but he's upset. You can hear him um, uh, talking crap about Harvick. I don't know. Harvick is going to win race number six of ten in the main season. Congratulations to the number four Hunt Bros pizza car. And let's get him up there for a little big race down. Wasn't the fastest car of the day, but he was there to get the job done and get the win for race number six. Oh, he's dead now. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed race number six. And we will see you guys in race number seven. This is why again. Signing off.